right now this is going to be your one-stop shop in how to use the full version of Kami which is a PDF annotator. It's super powerful. It works with Google Classroom and it really students are using it across the country to do their schoolwork, especially now. If you don't have it on your computer, you're going to go to the Chrome Web Store. Just type in Kami, K-A-M-I, and it will come up. You're gonna add it to Google Chrome. Once you have it, you should see it in the top where your Chrome extension icons are. Now, how do we open up a document in Kami? Oh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Well, we're going to do this going through Google Drive. You can see I have a Google Doc open right now. If I wanted to open this up inside of Kami with all of the tools, I'm going to go to my Google Drive. I'm going to find the document that I want to open. I'm going to right click on it, go to open with, and then go to annotate with Kami. This is going to open it up using the Kami program. There are a ton of features inside of Kami that we can go through. And I'm going to link right here the video that I did for students in the student unpaid version of Kami. But I'm going to start off with all of the tools starting up at the very top. You can see that this is an educator teacher license. And then this is a toggle sidebar. So if I click this, you're gonna see all the pages that are in my document show up on the left-hand side. If any annotations were part of this document, they would show up as a summary right here, but you can see that none, there are no annotations right now. So I'm gonna uncheck that. Next, if I wanna find something in the document, a highlight or matching comments or matching what somebody has actually written, I can go ahead and type it in here. It'll take you to it. So this is how you can find something that is inside of a document quickly and easily. And then the other piece here, you can see that, I'm gonna turn that off. You can see that this is linked to my Google Drive. Over here to the left, zoom out and zoom in. We can make it fit the actual width of your screen if you want. I'm gonna keep it at 100%. We can open a new file from our computer, from shared files, Google Drive, your own drive, obviously inside of Google Drive, Dropbox, if that's what you wanna use. And then it has other recent files that you may have already opened. You can share the document. So if we upload this, you're gonna be able to share that link to the document if that's what you wanna do so that other people can annotate and be a part and collaboratively work on this document. We can obviously print it. We can save it. So in Google Drive, I could create my own copy if I wanted to save it to a different email address that I currently had. But right now, I have it saved to the Google Drive that I want to use. We could download it to the computer if we want, and then there's help. And then finally, we have a menu all the way to the right. So when we go to this menu button, there are two powerful tools that Kami allows you to use in the paid version. And one of them is the split and merge document tool. This is where you can take another document and splice it or split it up into this document. So you can put two documents together. I'm gonna link right here the video that shows you how to split and merge. The other one is the OCR tool. OCR stands for Optical Character Recognition, which converts your non-text PDFs into text-based documents. That's gonna save teachers so much time because it's going to take PDFs that you currently have or that you've currently purchased or currently downloaded and you're gonna be able to change them into text documents without having to retype them. Here's the video that shows you how to do this as well. You can click above to watch that video. Okay, it gives document properties, notification settings, not a big deal for email and browser. We can create an assignment using Google Classroom. So if we wanted to go right into our Google Classroom and create an assignment, we could from Kami. So if we are set with this, we would be able to assign it to students. So if you picked the class and then students and you would have exactly what comes up inside of Google Classroom. So this is another way to assign a Kami assignment to students in Classroom. We can jump to the last page if we want to. If we want to jump to a specific page, we can type in that page number if we have a really big document and we wanted to jump to it, we could there. 
We can restore deleted annotations. I don't have any currently, but you could by clicking this button here. We can rotate the entire document clockwise or counterclockwise, whichever way you want. And then we can have a one page or two page view. And so what you'll see here is I've got to zoom out in order to be able to see it. But if you wanted pages that were next to each other, if you had a little bit bigger screen, you could go ahead and have it so that all the pages are next to each other. And then obviously this, when you do that, it has the first page as your cover page. So if you don't show it as a cover page, it will put the first page next to the second page. Presentation mode is much like PowerPoint. If you click that, you're gonna go into a mode where you're gonna be able to present your screen. Just press escape to get out of that mode. Easily escapable situation. And then you can hide all comments. If you have a lot of comments that are on your document, you can hide them all. But we haven't even gotten into comments yet, so let's look over to the left-hand side. On the left side, this is going to be our toolbar. <laughs> and you can see at the very bottom, we can move the toolbar from the left side to the right side if we like it over there a little bit more. I'm gonna keep it on the left because that's what I'm used to. You can also toggle this so that you only have the icons showing. So it gives a little bit more screen if you like the layout with two documents next to each other. At the very top, this is our select tool and that's what we currently are in. If we use the hand tool, we'll be able to move the document by holding down a left click and moving it. And then select the annotations. I'm gonna come back to this tool because this is a useful tool when you have many annotations on your document and you wanna erase them all or you wanna move them all. In the paid version, we have a dictionary. So if you don't know what the word supermarket is, I'm gonna click on the dictionary. I'm going to highlight that word and Kami will have its own dictionary definition of whatever word that you highlight. Text-to-speech will take the text and read it out loud. So whatever I highlight, if I highlight up to customers. The supermarket allows its customers. So you can see we can change the speed, we can change the voice to a different voice, and we can go ahead and loop it if we want to as well, if we want it reading over and over again. We can also go to the next sentence from what we highlighted, or we can just read the entire page. Sample questions. The supermarket allows its customers to use a discount card that reduces their cost. By Sam remembered to bring his card with him today. So we can if click to the next tax sentence. Purchase was $125. We can also hit stop. Markup sounds like a pen tool, but it's actually a highlighter tool. So we can use a text highlighter where if you just highlight a word, it will go ahead and highlight it in the color we have selected. Right now I have green. We have a box highlighter. So if I wanted to highlight all the choices, I would left click, drag, and then unclick, and it would highlight everything that I have. Strike through and underline, same exact thing as text highlighter. If we wanted to have a strike through go through a word, we would just highlight it and it would strike through. And right now I have a bluish purple and same thing with underline. If I wanted to underline the rest of this sentence, I could do that just by highlighting. So again, if I want to delete it, I can go to that annotation and remove individually. Feedback is gonna be very important with distance learning. I know! And so there are four different things that you can do here. You can use a text comment. So if you wanted to comment, you click wherever it is and it creates a little button and then you're gonna be able to comment however you want on the right hand side. You can also do voice typing. So if you wanna just use your voice to talk about what it is that you're gonna comment, it will recognize your voice and it will go ahead and put that text there as a comment. This is my comment. And you can see there it is on the side. Voice comment, it's the same thing as text. You're going to place your cursor where you want a voice comment inserted. So if I wanted it by the choices, I could go ahead and click and place that comment there. And once you click, it's going to start recording your voice and you can see it record my voice on the right hand side. Once you're finished, you're gonna hit stop. And that comment is there for anybody that wants to play it. You can also do it with video. If you want to create a video comment with using your webcam, you're gonna be able to do that as well as a screen capture. So if you want to actually show directions and use your computer screen to give those directions, you're going to be able to record that as well. 
All you have to do is click. You're going to pick the screen that you're going to share. And right now it is sharing my screen. And you can see on the right hand side, the screen is there. If I went back to my highlighter and I just chose a different color, you could see that if I mark it up, it will mark it up in the video as well. And then at the bottom, I'm going to hit stop sharing. Once your video is done, you're going to hit done. And that will save a screenshot video for you now right within Kami. So multiple, multiple ways that you can go ahead and give feedback or even directions to your students. These can all be saved and these are all automatically saved in your Google Drive. So if you assign this to a student, all of these annotations will already be there. Text box is exactly what it sounds like. Students or teachers are able to drop a text box wherever they want and whatever text they put in, they're gonna be able to change the size, font, and all of the other options that come along with text. You can even make it a link. So if you wanted to highlight what it is that you were doing or you wanted to make this a hyperdoc, I'm able to make my text box a little bit bigger and I'm able to click link at the top. And then whatever link that I wanted this to be, if I wanted to just take people to a Google search, I could enter my link and now it's become a hyperlink that's within the document. So this is going to be a, a really nice tool if you want to make your PDFs really interactive for students and have them go to different places on the internet. Equations, math teachers are always looking for places where they have access to mathematical symbols. And Kami has added some of the most popular math symbols as a feature. The next one is drawing, and this is where we can go ahead and change colors, but this is our pen tool. If you have a stylus, obviously it's going to be much easier to use the drawing tool. But if you don't have a stylus, you can use a mouse and you're gonna be able to annotate, you're gonna be able to draw wherever you want on this document. To change colors, you go to more colors and then you can change whichever one you don't like. So if for some reason I didn't want light blue, I could go ahead and change it to whatever other color they offer. I'm going to change it to black and hit save. And now you can see that those colors show up as your favorites. The three most used colors usually end up on the left hand side. You can change the lined thickness and you can also change the transparency of your line. There are some shapes and again you can change how thick they would show up the transparency of each of them so you can do rectangles and squares, circles, triangles, and then you can insert lines and all of the colors are the same as our drawing tool. Eraser. There are a couple th ways that you can go ahead and erase. If we want to erase all annotations or if we want to do drawings and shapes, you can erase either one just by holding left click and then hovering over it. So if I want to erase those, I can. Erase the text. I can even erase comments. So you got to be careful if you want to do that. You can always go up top to undo if you did something by accident and you wanted to bring it back. Another piece that I really like is select annotations. If I wanted to select everything I could and then I could hit delete and it would get rid of all of the annotations. Notice that the comments stayed and the highlighted text stayed. Those aren't seen as annotations with the select all tool. I'm going to undo that though. The next tool is insert image and this is a powerful one especially for math teachers that don't have touchscreen devices for their students. A lot of math teachers want students showing work. To show work right now you may have to use pencil and paper and so what students can do is they can go ahead and take pictures of that work using their webcam using a smartphone and they can upload it a couple different ways. They can obviously upload it to their computer, they can upload it to Google Drive. They also give the option to go ahead and search for an image using Google but that doesn't help us as far as uploading work. So if you took a picture of something and you added it to your Google Drive, you're going to be able to then put that picture into this document. You select your photo that you want and then it's going to be able to load that photo and you're going to be able to click and drop wherever you want. Once the photo is dropped, you're going to be able to resize it. You're also going to be able to crop it with this tool here. So if we don't want to see the rest of 
the classroom or wherever you're at taking that webcam picture. So you're gonna be able to crop, resize, and move that picture wherever you need. With pictures, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're on the page of the PDF document that you wanna put the picture because it won't let you leave page to page. You can see I'm trying to go down to that second page. All right, last I'm gonna talk about using Kami in conjunction with Classroom. And we can create an assignment as I showed you here into your Google Classroom. The other thing that I wanted to make sure to show you was that when you are in your Google Classroom and you go to Classwork, when you go to create an assignment, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you use Create Kami Assignment. This way, whatever you attach as your document, it's going to open up in Kami for your students. If I wanna assign this copy with all of these annotations to my students, I'm gonna make sure to save it and create my own new copy because I've made a lot of changes to this document from when I first started. So if I want all of those changes to show up, I'm gonna create a copy inside of my Google Drive. And up top you can see that it has created, inside of Kami Uploads, it created a folder and it created my name next to the assignment name. So I'm able to find this. So when I go to Google Classroom and I go to assign an assignment, I go to the blue create button. I wanna go down to create a Kami assignment. And then when I go to my Google Drive, I wanna pick the one that I created inside of Kami. So Kami Uploads is what they called it. And you can see this is the name of the file right here. And we're gonna make a copy for each student. So I'm gonna give this a title. I'm gonna schedule it for now and I can give further instructions if I need to. I'm not gonna give it a topic I'm going to assign. All right, so my assignment is there. Let me switch over to the student view. I find my assignment as a student, I open it up, and when I click on it, it's going to give me the option to open with Kami at the top, which I want to do. Now that I've opened this document as a student, you can see that I'm not able as a student to change anything that my teacher has put on here. I am able to interact with any of the comments that have been made on the right hand side and I am able to interact with the text that is here. Remember we linked this to Google. So there's that hyperlink that worked. So anything that's created, I'm not able to move anything that my teacher has assigned to me. But teachers, you're able to take a document and you're able to annotate it any way that you want but, and then assign it to your students. On the student end, this is the best part of the paid version of Kami, hands down for students. Students, when you finish an assignment and you finish annotating it and circling all of your answers or doing whatever it is that you need to do to a document, you're gonna be able to turn it into Google Classroom right from Kami. There's no need to go back into Google Classroom and hit turn in. Anything that you do will automatically be sent to Google Classroom for teachers to see and grade.